Hey guys, and welcome to this video where we want to prove or show that an odd number plus another odd number is always equal to or always equals an even number. Now in green below, I have the definition of what it means for a number to be even. And it states that an even number is an integer that gives a remainder of zero when divided by two. And an example of this would be two times n where n is some arbitrary integer value. Now next, in orange, right below it, I have the definition of what it means for a number to be odd. And it states that an odd number is an integer that gives a remainder of one when divided by two. An example of this is two times m plus or minus one, where m is some arbitrary integer value. So let's take a look at a few examples uh, to add two, two odd numbers together and see if we get an even number. So first example, we'll add one and three. So both the number one and three are odd numbers. And they are equal to four when added together. And four is an even number. Let's take another example. Example two. We'll take two big odd numbers. We do 111 plus 113, which are two big odd numbers. Well, at least bigger than the previous example. And we're, we're going to add them together, and we get 224, and 224 is an even number. And we'll do one last example. We'll take the number 7 and add it to the number 7, and we get 14. And, of course, 7 is an odd number, and 14 is an even number. All right, so let's go ahead and try to prove this statement true, that an odd number plus an odd number is always an even number. So we're going to take one odd number. So we're going to say 2 times m plus 1. That's going to be one of our odd numbers. And we're going to add it to a, another odd number. It may be the same. It might be different. So instead of us using the m variable as an integer value, we're going to use k. So now we're going to get 2 times k plus 1, where k is some arbitrary integer value. All right, so these two odd numbers may be the same. They may be different. It depends on what M and K are equal to. All right, so let's rewrite this. We get 2M plus 2K plus 1 plus 1. So that is 2 times M plus 2 times K plus 1 plus 1. And let's go ahead and add some of these numbers together. So we get 2 times m plus 2 times k plus 2. All right. And we can see that we can factor out that 2. So now we get 2 times m plus k plus 1. And now if we let m plus k plus 1 equal, write that over again, there we go. So we're going to let it equal n. Then if we rewrite our equation, we get 2 times n. And 2 times n is a even number where n is some arbitrary integer value. And we know that n is an integer value because one, the number 1 is an integer and the number m and k are both integers. So we know that the value n or the variable n is also some arbitrary integer value. So thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave any questions you have in the comments section. Don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. And if you found this video helpful, Please share it. Maybe others will find it helpful as well. And as always, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.